Hey guys, welcome back. You're watching your lottery, and I am playing my Moon Mission Tekkit Let's Play. So I've done a bunch of exploring. I decided I needed um, leather, so I went off. I grabbed a couple of the uh, safari nets that I had found and went off looking for cows so I could get a breeding pair. I also found a whole bunch of extra cows. So I've got a bunch of leather. I should be able to make myself a backpack or some and a chatting table with bookshelves, something cool like that. Hey, look at this. These are from Dimension Doors. I don't really want to mess with them yet, though. So I'm just heading back home, and uh, then I guess I'm going to set up a pen for the cows and start breeding them. Um, you can see on my uh, waypoints, I found a skeleton spawner, which is pretty cool. I'm just making a fake bridge here. I'll probably never even see that ever again, but you know. Looks better than just dirt. So I'm just heading back home. Um, yeah, I found a skeleton spawner. Um, pretty cool. Fire resistance 2 book in one of the chests. Uh, shiny ingot. Some iron. Nothing else of real note. Um, Still trying to plan out what I want to do for a power source. Hey, look, another dimension door. Those look cool. Anyway, um, I want to do like bioreactor with a whole bunch of different seed types. And I'm really leaning toward that, but I think it's going to be far easier just to make a tree farm and um, a bunch of... Uh, steam engines. Not necessarily the most efficient, but really it's not like trees aren't free. But you know, I kind of want to do the bioreactor because I've never done it before. Copper only spawns above uh, y of 40. So I'm trying to grab it when I see it. Because most of my mining I do at diamond level. So I suspect I'll be short of copper. If I don't pick it up when I see it. Uh, I made a little x-ray machine back at home too so I could see the uh, see what caves are unexplored. I think at some point I will want to set up a mob drop grinder, mob grinder. So I will want to light up my vicinity. I'm pretty sure. That takes a long time. <clears throat> it sounds like something's in my throat here. So I'm going to get back home and then I am going to uh, set up the cow pen. That's a little observation tower I made. So I was trying to see if there were any other train types. Hey, it's almost nighttime. Great. There were not other train types. It was just a big, endless forest as far as I could see.
So that was a two-day trip. I got a bunch of leather. Pretty happy with that. Only had to sleep out in the wilds once. Let's see here. Let's set up some jungle wood here. getting some cocoa beans. So right now I've got uh, a hopper feeding a steam engine and for water I've got an aqueous accumulator and that steam engine is going into a redstone energy cell which powers all my machines, pulverizer, smelter, magma crucible, liquid transposer, powered furnace. And I haven't actually been using the powered furnace, mostly I've just been using the regular furnaces. All right, so I am going to need some, some wood to make fences. Oops, let's go like this, use K-POC. There we go. Got some fences and some fence gates. Where shall we put the cows? Maybe on this side of the house. Yeah, yeah, I think around here. Oops. Uh, it's big enough for now. I like to mark my gates with torches on the adjacent posts. Just trying to space out some torches here to light up the interior. Okay, now I think you just right click to release these guys. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's go grab some wheat and breed them. I've got some wheat somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There you guys go. Sweet. Oh, let's see here. Now it's going to take a while before I have a decent population of them. Oh, here's my x-ray machine. It's a couple of sticky pistons. 
all you do is you flip the lever and it pushes the uh, the dirt and the TNT into you. The, I use TNT because it's you can it won't suffocate you, so you can see through. And you can see I've lit up a bunch there. You can see the spawner. It's pretty neat. If you go like this, you can see better. So there's still lots of dark areas. Okay. Um, next up is... I think I want to set up a better power supply. Ugh. So I'm going to go with... Um, I really think I'm going to go with the bioreactor. Which means I need a bunch of automatic farms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start setting that up. I need to make a whole bunch of um, machine blocks and farms and conduit and decide where I'm going to put these things and decide how I'm going to move the power around. Um, I may very well need to go get a bunch of obsidian to make a whole bunch of conduit. So I'm going to do that off camera and uh, show you guys what I get in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I decided I wanted to make a big backpack. I made this little one, which is pretty cool. But I decided I wanted to try one of the bigger ones and they take a lot of string. So how do you get string? Well, you kill spiders, apparently. There's no flax to grow. There's no wool card. So we're left with killing spiders. So what I've got down here... Well, there's a spider spawner back here, cave spiders. So I have put a mob grinder here, and it's killing spiders. Now I'm, I need to change this setup a bit, so... Oh, here comes one. Look at those fall through there. I hear one, but I don't see it. So all I'm doing here is just clearing out a little area here. And I'm going to Whoa. Yeah. I'm gonna block that off. And I'm gonna put some glass here, I think. Should I widen this a bit?
All right, let's see here. Um, I brought conveyor belts because I thought maybe conveying the stuff closer to that grinder would help, but I don't think it's going to matter. I do think I want to be able to be able to recover that. sucks. Okay, now I need to get under this thing. Get some liquid ducts down there. go. Now I've got the uh, mob essence going to a tank. Let's see here, it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh, hello. That'll come in handy. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Should keep this dark enough. Don't want stuff spawning up there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so. Now it's just, uh, I can sit here and idle. It doesn't seem to spawn them very fast, but it doesn't really need to. So I can just sit here and AFK until I have enough string for whatever I want. The uh, energy cell should last forever. And I think this is probably long enough for an episode, so I still need to set up a um, some automated farm stuff, so I'll do that and hopefully show it to you guys next episode. See you next time.